Hello and welcome to this Photoshop session. Uh, I'm Chris and we're going to uh, mount a design today uh, and we're going to do row 4C, that is uh, the row C on page 4. So we're talking of course about UD11, Unlimited Danger, Season 1, and we have a design here somewhere, there it is, uh, which is a preliminary design for this album. Um, so it's, as you can see up here, it's Season 1, Unlimited Danger, and 987 degrees centigrade is uh, installment 1, the album 1 episode one however you want to call it and this is a science fiction action thriller thing with uh, Barry Riley um, as the main character and uh, a lot of exciting things are going to happen and um, so this is what we're working on all right, so back to the session, and now what we're going to do is we're going to, as you see here in the background, uh, this is my original, uh, what should we say, it's a raw, or yeah, it's a rough row, which I just made in pencils. A while ago and from this we're going to produce a real uh, stable design with uh, uh, the exact um, the exact uh, format which we'll, I will later use uh, to actually draw these uh, drawings uh, ink them and to draw the balloons and draw the uh, panel frames and draw everything and also do the lettering um, not on the computer but on a sheet of paper so this is the uh, so 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 we're developing this Today we're going to do this design and later when this is done I will print this design out and then I will be using it on my light table, my light box, my light pad, whatever name you want, um, to, to uh, use my normal ink pens and like that. So, so that's the project. So today we're going to uh, somehow or other convert this um, sketch into something more tangible or some something more definitive all right so the first thing we need is we need um, guides to do that so I need so, so what we're looking at here is actually a, a design which I made uh, a while ago uh, with uh, lots of things, many layers here. Uh, I'm not showing them all. I can show some, but but the idea is that I have to change um, my previous work here into a new format because I've I'm now doing the lettering um, in a bigger scale so so previously I used this typeface here um, and but I'm not doing that anymore so I have to to change the scale so, which is why I now have to start uh, removing these uh, grids up here. So, I have these grids 
so I'm going to unlock them with uh, my F10 here which is my short command for unlock so this is this locking here instead of uh, I'm doing this pressing a button on my keyboard instead all right so now we have unlocked them so now we can select all of them and we can delete them so when i press delete now on my keyboard it doesn't work why well one reason is that i i i don't have the move tool selected so at first i select the move tool by doing so and then i can press delete again and then it goes away right okay so now we have the layer doc name here but <clears throat> now i want to insert new layers here so the new one new guide layers and to do that i have another document here uh, which in which i have i have selected a lot of layers here so now i'm going to duplicate these layers by right clicking on, on my mouse and i'm going to choose the destination will be detailed row c <clears throat> and now if i go to de detail row c 4c here then i get all these uh, nice layers here so now i have lots of interesting things here that i can use so i have i have caption text lines so I have an example here of a, a text. Uh, you, you don't see, okay, I can, hold on, I can, uh, let's see, we can just do that there. Oh, there's uh, even more, okay. Let's hide all of these. Okay, just to, to show you what we're doing here. Okay, so we have the caption text lines, which is simply a, I'm just zooming in here with uh, control plus okay and then I'm using the hand tool here just to center it okay so okay so we have an example text here from another frame or from a, from another panel and then I'm but uh, but everything is 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 already defined <clears throat> I have the correct letting here and I have the correct typeface and I have uh, everything is already uh, done so I can the only thing I will be doing here in in this in regard to the text lines whether it's captions or its balloons i will just replace uh, the actual letters with the text i want in the balloon or in the caption and then i get my finished uh, design in regard to the text itself so then i can just add the balloon outline and or the caption outline and then and then the frames and the and the sketches okay so so the caption text lines look like that and the caption text coverage looks like that so so if we so this is simply the so yeah, the text coverage is sort of behind and uh, so you have the, the small letters going up to the X side here 
and the the big the big layers go up to the the top line and this is the baseline of course and uh, so and if you have three lines of text like here you you should be using this three line so this is and then you just have the um, and then you have the outline also we can show everything uh, three lines there and we have the three line outline just for um, so, so this is for the caption then uh, and then so we have the elements we have we have the building blocks here so we can put together um, a caption or a balloon or whatever we want Okay, so so now we have those guides, and uh, and we will return to these later. And then we we'll have some tails also for for the balloons, so we can choose to put to add on later on. Okay, we have the dock name. Okay, so now we took those uh, guides, those grids, and the question is what else are we to do well one thing is i ha i need to um i need to change the cropping rects i have two cropping rects so i can easier see what i want to print later on or what i want to um, use for panels so but first i i have to we have to update these and we have to update like that so i unlock them with my f10 here and we're removing everything with the delete key and we're inserting it again the new updated version here cropping rex and splitting marks and we duplicate it to row C there. Okay, so we should have newly updated. Okay, and then we have the old balloon texts, um, which, let's see how they look like, if we have any. old balloon text right we only had two balloons okay that's all right let them be there okay and we have the those texts there we're not going to use those and the gutters are all right oh yeah right and then we have the row rect grid here now we have to remove that and delete it with delete and we have to get the new row rect grid here duplicate it into row c okay so that should do the trick so we have the sort of overall frame of of the page is here right and now the I think the last adjustment before we are going to start working on this is we have to remove the um, this layer mask here. Okay, so let's delete it and we will 
add a new layer mask okay and so let me zoom in here on this corner and we marquee tool oh marquee tool and okay and now I'm um, just okay and we have to oh good lord okay I have <laughs> I couldn't scroll I couldn't auto scroll okay so I have to redo it again okay let's since I'm here let's do it the other way going back I need to scroll to the left I need to auto auto scroll both to the left and down okay first left and then i'm auto scrolling down there it is okay and here i'm defining this area um, for the folder the panels and now when i have this selection um, marked out here with the the ants running i only press here now the layer um, the mask tool right and so the mask will be visible here and if i press uh, alt key and click on the this symbol here I will see here that the mask is is looks perfect right so because this is the area that will sort of shine through and this is the area that will be the black will be opaque and the, the white will be transparent so alt clicking again returns to my design here okay so now we have uh, prepared for uh, that my drawings let's the drawings here uh, will be visible in this row okay another adjustment i'm doing here is that i'm removing the gray background because i so i'm pressing delete here i don't want that anymore okay so that's just an example so so now the first thing we will but let's let's uh, not engage these yet let's wait a minute let's just okay so we have let's take away the these old balloon text coverages these are all designs okay these are all old designs okay you see here so i don't want these so i'm, I'm holding control down while i'm just selecting all of them and then delete okay and then so okay so good so now we hopefully don't need any more copying or duplication from uh, some other documents so now we're all set right so what we're looking at now is this let's go back to the 
original sketch. And as you can see here, there's a little um, there, there's not very much text here in the beginning, right? So the first four panels are are only having two words or three if you <laughs> depends on how you count it but but it's it's uh, so the only panel that actually will have any uh, text coverage or a, a balloon is the first one and the last one so let's let's do number one first let's go he says so it's obviously only one line and it is a balloon okay so it's not a caption a caption and caption and caption and balloon okay right so i want a balloon text line example i want a one-liner text coverage and I want a one-liner balloon outline. And I also want my traditional medium tail thinner. So I want, I want, I want these four guys. So I'm holding down Alt and I'm dragging it down to panel one, like that. So then all of these, and I still have all the other ones up here. So the, the, these are still there, right? So it, it's not that I've moved them, I copied them. Right, so we have um, and now the first thing I'm doing is I'm unlocking all of them so I can do something with them. So let's first do that. Let's um, let's see where they are. Okay, I can't see anything where that. Okay, here it is. But now the problem is that this layer up here, my resized row was above so I I'm taking that away and before we actually go on doing that let's just uh, reinstall the gutters because I already did this work before so the gutters are uh, already decided I've already um, adjusted these and by doing so it's easier to um, place the balloons okay so first thing you may notice is here I, I, I'm doing the movement in a horizontal way why because I've already I've already um, placed the text in the optimum optimum distance from the upper <clears throat> upper frame of the panel. So panel, the the this is the line up here for for the panel so this is the row here it goes like this so um so i'm and i also already placed the pictures the drawings um where they approximately should be okay so i did that work before and this was simply to, I cut and copied uh, each, each and one. So I, I cut and copy 
all of the five frames and I pasted each and one of them in their own panel like that so but now we don't need this anymore um, unless let's see yes okay so we have the position of so this is the challenge a challenge that um, where is the text going to be in number one let's let's just work on number one here for for the moment let's do why is this not let's see we have again okay so we'll let's work on number one maybe even one more okay so so the question is where should we put the text should the balloon lines be right aligned or should they be left aligned and the usual my usual method or idea is that if the speaker is somewhere over here or outside here or um, somewhere along here or outside and he sort of speaks this way then I usually want to have the uh, text aligned to that Oh, now I moved it, sorry. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, let's... Okay, so I'm not... So I'm usually favoring this alignment when the speaker is on this side, outside here somewhere. So with, with a pointer here or with a tail the balloon tail here so I think I'll do that this time as well and uh, but you can see here that the hand is <coughs> too high up it's far too high up for a three liner but now we we shouldn't have three lines we should only have one line so let's let's um, let's just add on here let's go problem here is that I think we should have italics there. Okay. Let's italics go. So these are Roman and these are italics. Maybe even we should have italics here also, but I'm going to do this for now. And uh, 
And one thing to observe here is that I'm having colors here. Why do I have colors here? <clears throat> it's because this typeface here is a is an approximation of my handwriting because I will be hand lettering everything on the light uh, table and and when I have colors it only means that I'm um, I'm uh, have adjusted the letters uh, by their width here in Photoshop so so the red when something is red here it means that it's compressed slightly compressed to better approximate my own T's or my own E's so red means compressed and green means expanded and uh, the, and the, this character shouldn't be green it should be black like that and the G is okay and these are okay because they are italics so anyway so Okay. Now, okay, so that's the text itself, but now we want the text coverage. And now that my text coverage goes, of course, all over. So I press V for move tool, and then I just drag it a little too confine it to just panel one so so I can see that we still have a very good fit let's go and let's now take the the balloon outline so this is the the right part coming along here with its um, with a helpline so I'm doing a couple of control plus here to increase the scale and then I want this red line here to line up with the actual panel frame so so the guideline there oh whoops now it's definitely gone all right so we'll have to do it again um so we have the red red line it should match the right uh, panel frame. So I will like that. So that should be all right. And now we can see that since this is going to be right aligned, then I'm selecting the the text lines again, and then I'm adjusting it so that so that this green line here is the uh, the end of the text right so and this should always be space here okay and but that's just half a balloon or not even that uh, so now we we need a left part as well so i take the Well, we can we can first uh, just take away the copy here. Just 
Uh, so this is the right one. And now we duplicate that by right. Wait, we, we hold Alt key down while we're dragging it with the mouse. And we get a left. Change the name here and take away the copy. And we have the left. And now we can move the left one here and flip it horizontally. Right? So we get a. And I'm aligning this in the same way so that this green line here will go to the left of the L. And. I don't need this red line here, so I just remove it. And there you have the uh, almost a balloon. And the last thing to do here for the main outline here is simply to copy. Let's see, we just copy the title here. And say we say center here. Center. Okay, and um, and we zoom in here on this area. And we select the move tool. Oh, up and up keys. Up arrow keys. That now we have that one. And the last thing with the balloon is to have to have a tail. So let's grab the tail here and just uh, something like that. And then we then we just. Uh, do something like that. So we apply and return key. And that should do the trick for this one. Um, and the virtue of this one here is that the virtue of this placement is now that we we can have the hand. We we can fit the hand better in the panel. So let's uh, select the drawing Barry's hand here, and we actually we have. And just to be, I'm just going to remove a little bit here. I'm using the marquee to layer and just delete just we remove the a sketch of the balloon so we don't get distracted by that okay so all right so we have the hand and on v for move tool and I think that it's pretty, we can have it something like that. And then we just adjust a little bit here and like that. So that's the first step. Panel one seems to be all right, and now we can just uh, let's see what we should not see. Okay, I think that's better. Okay, panel one is done, and then panel two. There isn't very much to do other than. 
Well, there is no text, and there is no balloon, there is no caption. So everything is about the placement. But I think it actually works pretty... It's pretty good. And the same for panel 2 here. There's not much else we can do. And panel 3. So there is no... Okay, we can just maybe... Just for clarity's sake here. And this uh, here, I'm holding Alt key down while I'm uh, using the mouse to to click here on this and um, so this is a solo function solo if I want to if I just want to see this drawing here the ship then solo solo anyway so so the, the <clears throat> this other drawing of the earth background it's a it's just a quick thing I did in here in Photoshop so I'll just leave it for now because as a I have to experiment with this more in the uh, but uh, but for now I think it works if we I think I will take a little, move it a little down there anyway, like that, and then something like that. I think that's better. Okay, save. And then the last thing we want to do is panel 5, and panel 5 is not so easy because as it looked on the original <coughs> okay we'll do solo here okay um command central here you are off course correct immediately So what to be done here with this one? Hmm. Well, I think I think the whole idea here is that this is going to be a a very special uh, type of balloon which I don't have as a template so whatever whatever um, way this is going to be done in has to be figured out on the drawing table so but in order to make that uh, easier, I'll have to um, I have to take these words here and prepare the actual um, um, where each word will be on. Is it going to be in line one or in line two, or uh, do we have three words on line one, or only two lines on, or only two words on line one, or or how is how is uh, where where are the return characters and, and and like that? So, so that's what I will be doing right now. Okay.
so let's uh, hide this one and I will take out this one back and we need to have the gutters back where are my gutters So let's just good. All right, so command central here. You are off course. Okay, and so we can borrow copy of this one here down to five here and we are going to move that so we it's a little slow but at least this way we're we're sure that we're going to get the right uh, alignment okay and we are uh, also maybe we're going to um, okay we can I like the white here, so it's better, easier to see. And tell you that old tail I don't need anymore. And let's go. And the text was command central here. You are off course. Let's type it in. so it looks like it's going to fit pretty nicely in this room and um, okay so we do enter there okay So the only question here is, and this is an artistic question, of course, how should we deal with um, this design? Because originally I designed this as, if you look at this, this solo here, 
uh, originally I designed this balloon here to go outside the frame. And that is the question if I really want to do that. Because if I want to do that, if, if I want to do that, then let's see, a solo here, okay. If I want to do that, then this size of the t this size of the text here will fit perfectly, almost, right? Because then we'll get I can I can uh, draw a a very special balloon here around it, but if if the decision is to if my decision is to have the balloon completely inside the panel frame then of course you will it will be this text will be too big and so here is the problem then. And that and the consequence here is also that if this is too big then I have to shrink it. But if I shrink it then this text which is sort of like um, a very uh, danger, danger, danger kind of uh, text. It, it will be in, in smaller type than, than all the other texts, so that doesn't work either. So, so I think the best solution here is to... Hmm, so the best solution is to keep keep the keep the text size as it is here and then we have to to um, use more lines so we have to add another line here uh, and we have to You are off course. Okay, maybe you can. Maybe we can do something like this. If this works. Or we can say this. We have maybe we can. This, this is better text. This is command central. I think this is better. Okay, you are. Right. And then we use the italics here. we could use uh, just a tick we could do that for off course here also off course 
exclamation mark. Okay, let's do that. And I forgot my usual strategy is to take two spaces for better um, to to better to emulate what what I'm doing in in um, when I'm hand lettering. Okay, so that's this is perhaps a better. So then, it, let's go with that size and that uh, design. And now the only thing I need to do here is to uh, to center it and like that. Okay. Because this gives me the option of if I want to use this text as a um, it's a good um, how should I say as a as a basis for for my final hand lettering. <clears throat> we can see here that uh, that. Um, I may be able to expand it a little bit. So, in my final mounting in in the finished panel uh, layout, um, I can always expand or enlarge the text a little bit to make. Um, so, if I want this this. Um, if the balloon is going to get out in, in the gutter here, on the, I can always enlarge this a little bit to make it more important, or to make it more um, um, alert, alert, danger, danger, all that kind of thing. So I think that's uh, the way to do it. Uh, for now, at least, we can always uh, fix uh, various things later on anyway so but for as a, as a as a preliminary solution this seems to work all right so we have we have all these guys there and we have the old balloon text up there we can save them and what else do we want? We want the doc name, of course. And um, let's see. Let's control plus and, and uh, T for text. And today's date is. 23rd 23rd November that and now save it and we are for page 4 row C okay that's that and now control minus and let's highlight the cropping rect for printing so that's the printing so what whatever so the idea is that I'm, I'm now preparing two documents for uh, for future reference right so, so one is uh, a simple printout of this one here so anything that is in, inside the blue line here will be the um, will be able to be seen when I'm printing it out on A4 paper so I'm using A4 landscape here to print this thing out here 
So now I'm saving this. Uh, uh, for web, right? And let's see, I'm just clicking save here and I'm let's see we have the panels row B row C so putting them in row C okay I already have an old one here so I'm just highlighting that one <clears throat> and pressing save for printing right so it that's the one I want so and the next step is that I am um, making that invisible and then I'm viewing the other cropping rect here namely one for panels so this is for for the future that I'm now going to use this whole row design and I'm going to take each of the panels here each of the five panels and enlarge them separately on 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 five different pages why because i want to be able to draw the balloons and the frames and the content here in a larger scale so i'm so we'll be doing that later on all right so now i'll do the same thing again save for web and we are going to save it and we're going to just select this four panels png here and replace it like that and then it should be done right so Okay, so we have the do that. Okay, good. Okay, I think that sums it up for this session, and we will continue in another video with other things. And as usual, we have this. This this was a part of the 987 degrees centigrade. The unlimited danger, season one episode one. Thank you very much.